Tension remains high in Kyiv. Russia invades Ukraine. In the Ukrainian capital, the war is now at their doorstep. Stay up to date with the latest news from Ukraine and all the international ripple effects with CNN and Fox News Radio. To the Russian officers and soldiers, the world is watching. Closer look now at the changing battlefield in Ukraine. The Ukrainians have demonstrated that they can take those forces on. Get Fox News Radio and CNN with the Odyssey app. And get up to the minute Ukraine news updates. This month on the 11th, multi-instrumentalist Charles Spearin tells us about his neighborhood. The Happiness Project is interviews with my neighbors about happiness. Happiness is love. Happiness is love. And then taking the cadence of their speaking voice and playing it on different instruments and then arranging it as though it was a song. I'm feeling happy. Same. Yes. Listen now on Odyssey or wherever you get your podcasts. What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Junkies back with you on 106.7 The Fan and NBC Sports Washington. Presented, as always, by Crop Metcalf. They're the official heating and cooling company of the Junkies. Looking to be their next five-star HVAC technician or plumber? Just visit CropMetcalf.com and you can join their team. We thank you for tuning in this Wednesday morning, March 9th, 2022. I'm John Paul Flame, joined by Eric Bickle. Good morning, Rick. Good morning. Johnny Cake Sawville's here. Hello, everybody. Guess what day it is? Hmm. It is hump day and Jason Bishop. Good weather. Fun to drive (laughs) into D.C. in the pouring rain. That fun. is the foursome. It Love is that. nasty yeah, outside. Fun. A lot of fun. Do you have the boys behind the glass? Valdez <laughs> running the board. Hey, JP. Morning. And Drabby running around. Good morning. I'm here. Hello, Big show Drabby. today. We'll be talking a lot about the NFL fallout yesterday. Quarterbacks staying. Quarterbacks on the move. And Washington, of course, still looking for one. Mm-hmm. Still wandering through the vast wasteland of quarterback hell as expected this franchise how many conversations do we have about russell wilson and aaron Rodgers? and pretty much the universal answer was they're not coming here right i would like to take i was surprised that wilson was traded though i mean i can understand why seattle did it just reading the uh some of the the columnists in seattle talking about the cap and how they have no draft picks right you know he's been there 10 years and he's going to want a big deal in a couple years so i was still surprised but I wasn't surprised that he would not waive the no trade clause for the commanders. <laughs> not surprised by not that. Not surprised and by that one uh, bit. Not surprised that the commanders actually had a better offer on the table than the Denver Broncos did, and he, he chose he, to go to Denver instead of here. Do we that, know that for a fact? I mean, they offered three first round picks in Washington and Denver did not. Uh-huh, they offered yeah. a package with lesser picks and they sent some players along, but right. well it was eight players for one. It was eight for one. Right. Yeah. Some would say offering up Drew Locke is a is a detriment, including yeah, him right. in the deal. But well, they'll draft Malik Willis, and it'll be Drew Locke and Malik Willis, right? Well, a couple of things. <laughs> yes, we knew that those guys would probably never end up here. I'm I'm glad they were in the mix for him, and you know, I, I'm a little. The, my biggest takeaway is I'm surprised that Seattle traded away a franchise quarterback. To be honest with you, um, I am too. I didn't Pete, think he'd be I mean, traded. Pete Carroll's seventy, and now he's. He's walking into the quarterback void. He's yeah. walking into the great I mean, unknown. And, and by the way, it can last 30 years. Now, maybe they have some deal in the works, and they're going to acquire Deshaun, and they're just going to go from there, and then fine. But welcome to quarterback oblivion. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I, I would <clears throat> never give up a franchise quarterback <laughs> like that, knowing what we know as Washington fans, right. that you, you, they're so hard to find. You had one. Well, Good some people don't right. like to ascribe wins and losses to quarterbacks. But take a look at their record in the Russell Wilson era. Right. I know this was a down year, but pretty much every year you have Russell Wilson. He's a great quarterback. Yeah. Pretty much every year you have Russell Wilson under center. Yeah. You're going to make the playoffs and you have a chance to win. <laughs> and and, and Drab can speak for himself, but I know everybody was talking about how sort of last year he wasn't engaged, couldn't wait to get out of there. You know, that was um, sort of a common theme I kept seeing yesterday. Maybe he did. Look at his quarterback I, rating in the last four years. I wouldn't. Have, I would have kept him until the but wheels we, but fell Drab off. Drab knows this. He knows that Pete Carroll gets super horny to run the ball. So maybe in the back of his mind, he's thinking, "I don't need a quarterback as good as Russell Wilson to really implement my plan. I can get away with somebody who's maybe seventy percent of what Russell, Russell Wilson is. Run the ball a ton with 
Rashad Penny and Chris Good luck Carson, with that one. And maybe maybe that's his plan going forward. No, I don't I know. Think their plan must be. I don't know. Drab, you can speak to it. It's your team. You know way more than me. Their plan must be they liked one of those rookies. And right. they're or they've got a deal, a wink, wink for Deshaun. It can't something. be that they love Drew Locke. No, no, that's, because you, nobody loves Drew Locke. That's not a thing. What well, even I, his parents? I, oh, his parents do. I'm at, <laughs> in NFL circles. I'm not even sure Drew Locke would be on the roster come opening day. Maybe he is because he's a super cheap backup. Right. But there's no long term plan for Drew Locke. Mm. A lot of it was being made about what the Commanders offered. I don't know. I actually think that the Denver offer was better. You because, got, they because they offered offer the three players. They, they offered two first and two seconds, right? Yep. yep. And a top, uh, Noah Fant was a first round draft pick two years ago. He's 24 years old. So I don't want to wait till 2024 as a Seahawks fan, for, fan as the third first round pick comes in. Now we get our second round picks in the next two years. So we have a lot of inventory coming in. I'll be honest. I'm butt sized. <laughs> I haven't been this excited about the Seahawks Look in a long spin. time. Now I know there's no spin. This is denial. Case. <laughs> yeah. You guys, this is I've been denial. telling you guys for a, a long time. I didn't think the trade would would happen. Right. I'm just. Yeah, read, I, I was either. reading the tea leaves. I was dead wrong about that. You can call. You can take away my Seahawks insider. <laughs> I don't care. I'm butt sized. I'm so glad that they are finally moving on from Russell Wilson. I was tired of the drama, just like the the fans here who were tired of the Kirk Cousins crap. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm so excited. Now, EB is worried that I'm worrying QB oblivion. I'm not worried. I'm just Pete saying. Pete Carroll that's... found a Hall of Fame quarterback in the third round. I, I trust him. Needle in a haystack. Okay, but. Except this... for me, why well, I, I okay. predicted when he was coming you're out. You're a Washington a fan. You're a Washington <laughs> yeah. fan. We're at the same level as the Eagles, the Ravens, the Steelers. We're a, we're a top 10, top 5 organization in the NFL. We hey. just are. Yeah, Pete so Carroll. I'm not worried good about luck. Schneider and Carroll. Obviously, thought it was a good enough deal right. when you get eight players for. I know one of the players was um, Drew Locke. Okay, but you get eight players for one, and considering that Russell Wilson, his deal is up in two years, he's going to want Aaron Rodgers. Well, you got to pay. Yeah, he's going to want sure. fifty million a year. Yeah, you got to pay him. So they probably looked down the road and said, F- "We got no, we got no draft picks." <laughs> right. We're going to be in salary cap hell, and we're going to get eight players for one. It's time to make a move. All I'm saying is good luck, and if you pick it's, up a it's quarterback, risky. They better be you pick right. up a quarterback, they better I'll be, be right. jealous, <clears throat> but yeah. it's not easy. Well, I, th- I think, yeah, I think you're already jealous. <clears throat> oh, I'm not jealous of Seattle at all. No, no, no. It's not easy for Washington. It's, cause it's not easy because you've been in hell. I think it's, <laughs> it's I, not easy for Washington for sure, but I don't think it's easy for anybody. It's not easy. Yeah, but, they, but Drabby had his success. See, they went to two Super Bowls. Yeah, they won. A, they won yeah. a ring. Well, now he's been there ten they, years. Now he's and now in Denver. If you're, he's not won three. If you're Denver, Denver, by the way, Seattle, I believe plays Denver. That'll be interesting. I believe they, they do. do. If you're a Denver fan, you're beyond thrilled because you've had to deal with <clears throat> Drew Locke, Brock Osweiler. They, I mean, they've had they've been on the QB carousel, Teddy Bridgewater. Mm-hmm. I mean, they've had so many Jags go filter through there, and hmm. now they've got a guy that they don't have to worry about. They plug him in, and he's going to be there every single week, and he's going to keep you in contention in every single game. Denver, yeah. And that yeah. AFC West and they is got weapons. brutal. Yeah. I know. With the, the quarterback firepower that's out there. Mahomes, they, they can't Herbert, all make the playoffs. Wilson and Carr. Wilson's stats the last four years. And he's been good all ten years, but the last four years. 35 touchdowns with only seven interceptions, 111 quarterback rate. Mm-hmm. 31 touchdowns. Only five interceptions, 106.3 quarterback rating. Mm -hmm. 2020, 40 touchdowns, only 13 picks, 105 quarterback rating. And then this year, which was a down year, 25 touchdowns, only six picks, 103 quarterback rating. Everybody talks about how bad he was. No, he's going to the Hall of Fame. But, I mean, think about it from Seattle's standpoint. I do, but I always disrespect money. And, and believe me, I'm surprised it happened. I, I think that guys that worry about money and stuff, they're nerds. And they're outsmarting themselves. You need great players. He's a great player, mm-hmm. and you're not going to get a quarterback of his caliber in return unless you can pull off something for Deshaun. You're not getting a, ca- a quarterback of his caliber in return. Eric, you're either you're either <clears throat> contending or getting better, or you're just f- falling further and further behind. It's it's been the same thing for five years. I I am happy they pulled the plug and just didn't waste another five years. They okay. I don't think all it would have been said, wasting. All as- everyone said the last few months is Seahawks are going to the worst team in the NFC West. Yeah, they have a zillion holes. What are we doing? We're just paying Russell Wilson because uh, he was good to our city, and you want us the Super Bowl? No, no, no. You got to move on because the he's Wizards a top need five quarterback. To, the Wizards need to trade Bradley Beal. It was okay that Bryce Harper left. These things can happen. You can you can rebuild. 
It's good for the Broncos. That's what the Broncos need. And it's also good for the Seahawks. You can look at it from both sides. I understand. I'm just saying, if I had a franchise quarterback, top five in the league, I'm not getting rid of him. I'm I'm riding him until the wheels fall off. Well, the problem in the NFL is there's a salary cap. I know, and I always think you can outrun the cap. The cap just went up twenty five million again this year, or whatever it did. Right. Some, well, somehow Aaron Rodgers signed his deal, and yeah. his cap number went down. Yeah. It was less Aaron Rodgers getting fifty yeah, million. I, mean, I don't. I don't you know how that You can figure that out. Well, That's, you can figure it out to a point, but you. I mean, there are ramifications. There just are. Sure, you can't. But, you can't sign the best fifty three guys out have, there. You, no, if no. you have a premium quarterback. Mm. You have to pay a premium price tag. Yeah. Now, if if you get the unicorn, we have Patrick Mahomes on a rookie deal mm-hmm. before he resigns his huge deal. Then, of course, it's a bonanza. But that's rare that that happens. Right. But once those guys reach a certain level, they're going to be making forty, forty five million, fifty million. By the yeah. way, I look. Was, Seattle I, traded their franchise quarterback and they cut their best defensive player. Yeah. On the same day. Right. Yeah, I know. They're, they're, they're ready what do you mean you can get around the money? I mean, there's there are reasons they do it. I'm actually more upset about Bobby Wagner. I, I mean, there are reasons that they do this that. stuff. I understand. They saved them $17 million said, on the they cap. They just franchised Devontae, mm-hmm. and they gave Aaron Rodgers $50 million. There, You can find out a way. Well, so they decided they didn't want to the, deal with I'm it. I'm guessing the rest of the roster will suffer because of that at some point. I'm sure on some level, but you got You can't win a Super Bowl without you have a big silly. I get, and I they get had it. a big silly. I get it. And now I'm sure Drew Locke is not the answer, and I agree with Drab. He may not be on the roster. Right now they got um, nothing. He's better than Geno Smith. Who's their backup? Is it Geno? Well, Geno's a free agent, too. Right. So. Bye-bye, I mean, Geno. Geno has a D- DUI. Yeah. It doesn't even He's matter. So done. I, I hope they don't draft a quarterback this year. I hope we run out uh, Minshew. It doesn't <laughs> matter. The 2023 quarterback class, to me, much more exciting. If if Pete finds his guy this so year. You're fine to take it for a year. I don't you'll, care. You'll take Mike, it on yes. the chin for a year. It's okay. All rookies are de- you, None of the guys they draft will be better than Russ. In oh, 2023 yes, or 2024. Yeah. But Russ is also getting older. Massive contract. He's not a mobile QB anymore. There's a lot. Of, he's worse in the NFL on third down passing. There's a lot of things about Russell Wilson that weren't great. You can just say, oh, yeah, he threw for 34 touchdown passes, and that gets you excited. Okay, yeah, but there's different ways to skin a cat. I was over the Russell Wilson era. <laughs> Even though you were surprised it happened. But surprised. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But surprised. surprised. How could you not be? I took a nap. And Aaron Rodgers signed for two hundred million, right. and Russell Wilson was traded during yeah. my nap. Yeah, your nap wasn't even Un- super long. It was unbelievable. <laughs> right. mm-hmm. oh. I know what Valdez feels like to lose your insider uh, crown as well. That hurts because <clears throat> yeah. feeling. I mean, he got own... smoked by Glenn Clark in Baltimore. Right. Yeah, oh. He's not the world. Well, foremost. by the way, I uh, I question Drab's radio instincts, right? Because he went running to Twitter to spout out uh, all of his feelings. Radio insider. When Twitter doesn't pay his bills, Odyssey does. Do you think he should have saved his takes? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, Howard. Howard's heard me. I like yeah. the bit. Do you think he should have saved his takes? Definitely. For the radio? I just I know if I was a P one, I yeah. go ooh. I wonder how Drab's feeling. Right. right. I don't have to tune into the junks. I just see on Twitter that he's okay <laughs> with it. Is he, he J.D. Harmon? Yeah, he is. He's making all, he's <laughs> making all of his announcements on Twitter instead of uh, the company that pays Hilarious. him. Hilarious. I got four hours of material over here. Right. Don't worry about uh, it. All right, company man. <laughs> I, all right. Well, how about this? I went to the ATM this morning, and I got five crisp $20 bills. Why? Beautiful. Do we get money? Yes, you donk. I bet everybody a free roll $20 if, if, the, if Russell Wilson got traded. Do we have the audio? Of that, please, please tell me we have that. it somewhere. Can, can you find that? That's about, I'll find it. Recent. I'm sorry, so I'm getting I 20 could, spots. I f- completely forgot about that. I I don't even believe it occurred. What oh, a it does I don't remember. Countless it. listeners actually were tweeting, and I actually asked one for the date. Thank you. You know what I'll do, Drab? Drab Carol. I'll buy you lunch after the show with that. You're a nice person. Yeah. I'm not. I'll buy. <laughs> yeah, especially because you're staying till one. That's what I mean. <laughs> I mean, what a dad. I'll go up the subway. Uh, I'll get him a, a you know bacon, egg, and cheese or whatever they sell. Oh. I can't believe it. It's we're a free twenty this. spot. Look at this. I don't know. Thank I don't you, Drab. You're a man of honor. I have seen cash. I have no recollection of that ever occurring, but I'll take your twenty. Thank you. And a twenty dollar bill f- feels a little better than a digital Venmo. <clears throat> it does, but this twenty is a little. It's a little bit floppy. It's not oh, you quite, don't like, not well, quite yeah, as crisp well, as you were. Bank of America. <laughs> mine, <laughs> mine's silly and crisp, Cakes. You want to try it? Mine's a little bit flaccid. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't quite have the staying power. Well, I do want to take a bit of a victory lap also <clears throat> because I said we should offer Aaron Rodgers $50 million a year and everyone mocked me. He got fifty million a year. How was everybody mocking you? Everybody knew that was the going rate for uh, a superstar. He wasn't coming here. He wasn't going to. Plus, agree he to wasn't come a here. free agent. I, I, you had I to suggest- trade for him, yeah. of course. And I said, I don't think he's going to come here. But I said, I give him ownership. You, of the I know team. you wanted to give him twenty percent ownership. Give him a house on the Potomac. Yeah. Give him fifty million a year, and was like fifty million a year. Mm-hmm. That, that's what it took. Well, 
That was going to be impossible. You know that. I didn't think we would get him. Hey, Aaron Rodgers played that perfectly. Yeah, he did. He kind of did, but he took a lot of hits. All the tactics of, yeah, I'm I'm leaving, going on Pat McAfee and saying, yeah, I haven't decided yet. He played it perfectly. All right, we're going to be talking about it throughout the show. Our pal Rick Snyder, who covers the Commanders, amongst other things, for the FanDC.com. He will join us coming up at 820. Ben Valin, National NFL writer for the Boston Globe, at 720. When we come back with the Commanders whiffing on both Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson, who's their next target? We'll get into that here on The Fan. Let's talk about what you're curious about. Hey there, my name is Mike Simpson. I do the news in L.A., fires and car chases and that kind of stuff. But I've got this list. What explains deja vu? Why are we so obsessed with true crime dinosaurs? I guess the T-Rex had feathers. That's what they're saying now. I have a new podcast. It's called I've Got Questions. We're going to go through my list and we're going to do yours. So come on, tell me what you're interested in and we'll get some answers. Find this on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your shows. Just search for I've Got Questions. Welcome back, Junkies on 106.7 The Fan. We are live on NBC Sports Washington. Mm -hmm. Big day in the NFL yesterday, the franchise tag day, the day that a couple of quarterbacks' futures were determined. Aaron Rodgers is going to stay in Green Bay. Looks like a four-year deal for $200 million with over $150 million guaranteed, although he quibbled on Twitter and said, I haven't signed anything, and you guys are talking about these details, which right. aren't right. But they tend to end up exactly where it's being reported. So he'll <laughs> stay in Green Bay. Russell Wilson, on the other hand, does get traded. He ends up in Denver to play for the Broncos as they traded away a couple of draft picks, some players uh, for Russell Wilson. So where does that leave Washington? Boardroom's Jordan Schultz reports that Washington has taken a long look at Jameis Winston, Mm. potential option, and they continue to have interest in potentially signing him. Schultz did also note that the Florida State product could return to the Saints as well. Uh, Martin Mayhew, of course, who is the general manager of the Commanders, said at the scouting combine, we feel we've canvassed the league effectively. We've spoken to every club that has a quarterback who might be available. So is Jameis going to be the answer? But he's, he's not the answer. He's certainly but... in the mix. I mean, he's he's the name still among the names still being considered. I mean, I saw a report yesterday that <laughs> I thought it's weird that you're lamenting the Mitch Trubisky might not be available, but there are reports that he might be going to New York to compete with Daniel Jones for the starting gig there. Mm. So that could be another piece that you're thinking of signing that might be going elsewhere. So you have to consider James at this point. If you're not getting one of the big dogs, he's got to be on that short list. It just sucks because considering. you don't want to. Why aren't they all all in on Watson? Unless they maybe they unless are, Watson's already said it. I'm not playing for like Russell said. If Watson said I'm not playing for you, maybe, I don't maybe know. the the Russ wow. deal yesterday really motivates them to right. to just say get behind closed doors and say, look, didn't get Russ. We knew we weren't getting Aaron Rodgers. We got to do everything within our power. We got to we got to give them a better deal than Denver offered Seattle for Russell Wilson. Can't strike out on, on I still, Deshaun. I still think it's a it's untenable PR situation, and I know some people think the league wouldn't even let it happen. You know, so who knows? Maybe great on the field. Who knows what's happening behind closed doors? I mean, be great. Do you the believe field. what you read? They were interested in him last year, right? Can't and I can't imagine they didn't call Houston about him this year. Now, I know that there's still some question marks on where this investigation goes, but I think it'll be resolved before the draft. What happened with the Kyler Murray rumors? I like that when he was all bitter and taking down his IG photos and Didn't everything. Didn't he put them back up? I think He'd he did. Archive but, them and then... Yeah, I think he did, but these guys are wishy-washy. They do stuff like that all the time. So clearly, I think they should be investigating that. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they've called Arizona. You, my understanding is they offered three ones, right? Right. 
I'd offer three ones for Kyler Murray in a heartbeat. Of course let's you go. Would. Just a matter of will Arizona accept it? Will they take it? Yeah, but let's make sure we offer it. Yeah, hopefully they have. Let's make sure we well, offer it. If they haven't yet, then hopefully they will. And by the way, I throw in a bunch of players too. Take, yeah, pretty but, much take whoever you want. I'd, I'd prefer to keep Terry, but pretty much take it whoever you want. Right. <laughs> I don't care. I don't know. I, I just think he's more unattainable than Watson. I mean, I. Yeah, but at least, unless Watson's agent told Ron, "Yep, sorry, we're going. I mean, to, we're going to Carolina." You also have to factor. Yeah, there's competition. Carolina <laughs> is going to be in the mix. You would guess Tampa Bay is going to be in the hunt for him. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Are they really going to start their season with Mason Rudolph as their quarterback? I mean. I highly doubt it. Can we revisit our draft from Friday? Did anybody yes, Winston, take Aaron Rodgers? Winston's going or to Valdez. Russell Wilson. That's why he's pulling for it. <laughs> right. Neither I, one of those guys were taken. I drafted no. Trubisky at six. None of us expected Russell Wilson or Aaron Rodgers. I'll let you buy out for $10. The whole world so too. the answers are still there for us. They could still swing at Jimmy G if they want but that's to. That's not an answer. That's just, uh, it's just a move. But a free agency move. It's just a move. It's not a real answer. It sucks. Well, Jimmy G is not a free agent. Yeah, you I know. Trade, trade for him. Yeah. It, it it just sucks because <clears throat> you know unless you sign one of the free agents, you're gonna pro- you're gonna have to waste your draft capital on a quarterback. That's a swing and a miss. And you have so many other needs. And even if you sign one of the free agents, they're big question marks too. I mean, there's just no. I'm telling you, there's no answer. There's no, we're just. We're doomed. Well, the answer is you. If the right guy is available in the draft, who's the right guy? Nobody How do you knows. Know who the right of guy? course, nobody, nobody knows. knows. That's what I'm saying. Nobody you have to scout the right guy, and you have to develop him, and he's got to be the guy. Yeah, and they they do that all the time, and always miss. I mean, teams or do it all if the you're, time. If you're Ron and you are playing the long game, and you think you have a minimum of five years here, <laughs> you kick the can down the road, you sign your bridge quarterback. And you just you point to twenty twenty three. Now the problem with Who's that is your bridge, like Carson Wentz or Jameis. All James, those guys James, are the same. Any of those guys, Carson Carson Wentz, all those guys to me are about the same. Mm-hmm. And then you you find your rookie in twenty twenty three. Now the problem with that is you don't know where you'll be picking, and if you're on, then you're really running out of time. You're into year four, and then you're mm-hmm. picking a rookie quarterback, mm-hmm. which I think is just dicey. Yeah, but this is not a good situation. You, this is the price you pay when you're Ron Rivera. Where you have neglected the quarterback position in your first two years in Washington, yes, he he's neglected the spot. Well, he tr- it's not easy. Well, he was trying. Guys unfits, that, that came but he, but hold guys. on, he did try to get Stafford. Now he didn't offer he did. enough, obviously. But again, that that keeps building on. <clears throat> nobody wants to come here, right? Russell Wilson didn't want to come here. Matt Stafford would rather go to the Rams. Amari Cooper had a big bag of money. He would rather go to the Cowboys. There's <laughs> there's a pattern building here. The only, I, I know I'm surprised the by it. Right. The only way you're going to get any of these elite guys to waive their no trades to come here is you have to way overpay them. Certainly. And I don't want to hear all the nonsense about caps. It doesn't matter. You just got to way overpay them. And you got to way over trade. So you got to right. offer a bunch of picks. You got to offer up your some of your stud players. And then you have to pay the guy like a record breaking sure. salary. That, well, that, that's where this organization is right Houston. now. They have to go to Houston hard with a really good package that. Uh, is it Nick Casario, the GM there, that he's going to look at and say, this is clearly the best deal. We're going to have to move the Sean to the commanders. But don't you have to find out what's going to happen with him yes. on the legal end yeah. and it has you to know, on the NFL resolved. end? Because you, if you, you want to talk about, about it, we yeah. always say uh, drafting RG3, set him back. Drafting Dwayne Haskins, set him back. Mm. Well, what if you make a trade and you trade away draft choices? And then Deshaun Watson can't even play. That's right, a risk I'm I'm ready to take at this point if I'm Ron. Because, hello, Ron Rivera, desperate. Reeks of desperation. <laughs> the desperation is j- j- jumping off of him. You, sorry, yeah. you, have to, you have to risk the fact that he's going to be suspended maybe six or eight games. I'm but guess- if you're playing the long game, wouldn't drafting a guy, of course, you don't know if he's going to work out, but drafting a guy you believe in, right. Isn't that the right play for the long no, game? I would have to, if I'm Ron Rivera, I'm going to guess that if I acquire Deshaun Watson, he is going to be light years beyond any of the docs in this draft class. And if I have to have him sit for six or eight games at the beginning of his commander's tenure, I'm willing to take that bullet. If it was I only a six-game hit, fine. Yeah. Fine. I'm just thinking it's 
a PR disaster for a team that's full of PR disasters. Right. My my view on it is well, what's another, it's another one to throw on the oh, yeah, pile. What's another one, right? They, they've been so bad with yeah. PR and their public image that I don't think this team would, would skip a It'll beat. never go away. The stench of this case with Deshaun has tainted him forever. Hell, even then, his case was 10 years ago or so. People still bring it up. They're sites they won Super Bowls, but he's look, he's at, the guy has warts. I'm not, I'm not saying he has, warts. I'm not saying he has <laughs> genital warts. warts. <laughs> I'm saying in general. But wouldn't you still he's got warts. wouldn't you still be willing to do it as a fan? Look. I just don't know, Jason. I, t- I can honestly tell you I'm genuinely torn. Really? Because of, yeah, I mean, these are major, major allegations I know, for a but team with major, major. If we didn't have our history. Yeah. But what do you care what the you know, Washington Post writes about them? I don't know that I want. I don't want to talk about it for five years. I don't want to <laughs> defend it for ten years. I, I don't want to be in the business of it. To be honest with you, yeah, but what if he? What if he? What if he wins you divisions? Ten or twelve wins every year. And I mean, I think on some level he kind of year. does. I think on some level he kind of does. I mean, can I? At some point, can I take a moral stand just once? Sure, it might can. be the one stand I might take is saying yeah. no to Deshaun. Yeah, just His talent is undeniable. I, I just think that most fans would not take that stance. It's, they're they're it, just desperate for for wins. They're desperate for playoff appearances. They're desperate for possible division titles. They don't want to see Dak Prescott winning divisions every year. He's not the only quarterback that they could potentially get. By the way, did you see the no, on a side note? But he's did, the best. Did you see the nugget about uh, the fact that there was there are reports that there was an altercation between Amari Cooper and Dak Prescott, and that's part of the reason why Amari's going to be released by the I Cowboys. Did not, I did not see and that because it stemmed from I guess Amari Cooper called Dak Prescott. Basically, Kirk Cousins. He said, "You're you're Kirk Cousins. Like you put up numbers, but you don't win. You don't win. And that you don't led, win big that games. led to an eruption from Dak. And basically, they had to be separated. <laughs> so if you call someone Kirk Cousins, that's like uh, yeah, it's like calling being very yeah, disparaging. Yeah, it's not great. It's not yeah. a great comp apparently in modern day NFL. Right. I'm trying to think if I'm even interested in Mario. He's younger than I thought. He's still only 27 you go years to a old. A couple calls I mean, and com- see what the fans the, want to do. The, yeah, of course, the commander Brass was certainly interested in him in a few years ago. Yeah, I know, but it's a couple years later. Right. He'll be 28 next year for receiving. The guy that I am interested in, and I'm trying to work up a lather for, is Bobby Wagner because we have a desperate need for middle linebacker. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna get a lot of money. Yep. Um, but you know, again, that's the price of doing business. But man, that dude is still playing at a very high level. I think he might have had a career high in tackles last Travi year. Travi would look so good in the Bobby Wagner Commanders alternate <laughs> black jersey, right? Oh, that would look so good on you, Drab. That guy's butt durable. I do love Bobby Wagner, but much like the way I feel about Russell Wilson, you don't want to see your ex girlfriend dating someone in your class. <laughs> right. You know, like I just don't want to see that all the time. Right. He, and I want Bobby Wagner to win. Doesn't he represent his his, his uh yes. he does, he's not his own or he is his own agent. Yes. Yeah. Hard but, for me to say. Yeah, he represents himself. Yes. If you want to and chime in, he got a in, bunch of money in that last deal too. Yeah. If you want to chime in 800-636-1067. No Aaron Rodgers, no Russell Wilson, would you be okay with Jameis Winston? Who supposedly the Commanders have interest in. I also see a tweet from Josh Taylor. He covers uh, the draft, college football guy. He wrote, heard from a 49ers source mm-hmm. that Washington has interest in Jimmy G, has since last year, but Jimmy would, quote, probably say no. Wow, Jimmy G. Would <laughs> Jimmy G has a no trade clause till March 16th. The 49ers likely down? want to do good right. by that, Jimmy. That is just, yeah. That is alarming. I can understand being turned down for Russell by Russell Wilson. Mm-hmm. I can not, certainly understand being turned down for Aaron Rodgers. No, but Amari it's at Cooper, the point. But, it's at the uh, point where if you have options, unless you massively overpay them, they're not going to come here. Right. Yeah. That's going to go line. down here this week. We, that's how low and our we friend are. Pete Haley uh, pointed that out in his article yeah. on NBC Sports Washington, just crushing Ron Rivera. The fact that. Nobody's buying what he's trying to sell. Nobody's yeah. buying his vision at this point. Well, they're taking some cuts. They're just swinging and missing. Yeah. Well, is it, did they? Well, this is another conversation for later in the show. Did they offer enough? Because again, to pull these kinds of deals off, you can't just offer the going rate. You got to go above yep. and beyond. You got to wow them. You have to tell Russ, we're going to give you two hundred million, right? Mm-hmm. We're going to give you fifty mil, just like Aaron Rodgers. And you got to tell the Packers, we're going to give you a chase or whoever. 
or another first round. I mean, you know, I mean, you got to go way beyond. That's how low we are here. Nobody's putting Washington on even on their list of consideration is the thing. No. You know, no. Diana Rossini was reporting that a week ago, I guess, that the interested parties of the mega stars, the Aaron Rodgers, the Russell Wilson, they don't want to come to Washington. Right. It's know. a no-fly zone for the stars. Yep. Yep. The only way you'd be able to pull it off, I've always said money. You got to offer them a boatload, record breaking money. And then if you have to organize a trade, you have to offer them a boatload and a record breaking haul, a Herschel Walker type haul. Made me laugh when uh, our friend Ian Hart at some Pro Football Focus tweeted yesterday that Washington was immediately calling Denver to try to pry Russell Wilson away from Denver. Made me slap my knee. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding, right? Yeah, it's a joke. Yeah. He was joking, but it was a funny joke. Yeah. Well, you got to call every team, yeah, immediately, do their due diligence. Their, their, Russell's not even there yet. It's just a report of a trade. And they're, they're calling the Denver. The only thing that is jarring about it, again, I'm stunned Seattle moved them. Stunned. Yeah. Uh, and then it just makes you just feel like a zero, even though we all knew that it would be very difficult to pry him loose and to get him here. It's just, it's just very hard to stomach seeing a guy that you thought was probably going to stay in Seattle end up somewhere else. And you, you've been denied again. Mm-hmm. So here's your timeline, by the way. And we'll come back, take your calls. If you want to chime in, 800-636-1067. Today's March 9th. On the 14th, which is five days from now, you can start the legal tampering. And March 16th, 4 p.m., is the official free agency date. And right. you know by then, everything's basically going to be done. Yeah. 80% of the free agents will be signed beforehand, and they'll just start announcing them on March 16th. So they got to do work here in the next week. If it's going to be Trubisky, if it's going to be Jameis, or if they're going to trade for a Jimmy G, they're going to convince something out or do the Deshaun Watson deal. It's probably going to go down this week. They went from shopping at like Gucci and Louis Vuitton to <laughs> search, searching TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They might even be at Ross they Dress might, for Less. Yeah, which they're is just going through the discount rack. Below. They're just going through the discount rack and just trying to find something with not too many blummies. <laughs> they're to the point now where they might not even land Mitch Trubisky. Yeah. They might go to a division rival. What if they don't land that. anybody? Then they, they draft somebody. On draft, but that no, sucks. I understand that. But what if none of the free agency want to come here? I, th- I think the only ones that really want to come here are the ones that have no other options. Yeah, everyone picks. Someone You're right. They're else. gonna. Dra- I mean, I think they're gonna draft somebody. But yeah, you get like you end up with like Tyron. I'm, just, kind, of, I'm kind of getting feel they might wind up with your guy Carson Wentz. Like Carson Wentz might be the guy at the end without a chair when like his chairs end. I like his numbers and he's beating us. I think he's gonna stay in Indy. You do? Yeah. I, good. But again, you know, he's a discount rack. Spurns Washington. He's a discount rack guy. He's far from a sure thing. Right. Well, it's not like he's spurning Washington. He's under contract, so right. they can decide to keep him. Right. Yeah, but you know, they'll have the situation too. If they get rid of Carson Wentz, then who? That's what I, I mean. I mean, the, the, That's the what Seahawks. Just, the Seahawks. Just, they say, <laughs> who you else? Know what? You know what? Losing it's Russell ta- Wilson. It's Taylor. Hmm? It's Taylor and whoever <laughs> right. you drafted eleven. Right. Sam right. Howell. I'm a Sam Howell guy. Uh, we'll come back, guy. take your calls, 800 636 1067. We're the junkies. It's the fan. Welcome back. Junkies on 106.7 The Fan and NBC Sports Washington talking about the quarterback situation. It's not going to be Aaron Rodgers. It's nope. not going to be Russell Wilson. Neither of those guys. We kind of knew that the whole time, but now it's official. Russell Wilson lands in Denver. Aaron Rodgers signs a four-year deal to stay in Green Bay. By the way, another name to throw in the mix and kind of under the radar. Now that Aaron Rodgers signed up for four more years. Oh, here it comes. Jordan Love. He's gonna <laughs> that be, is true. I, I know that the commanders no have been interest. sniffing around him. No And interest. he can be had for relatively cheap draft capital. We I already think. know he stinks. Probably get him for a sixth rounder. I'm just, I'm just throwing another undesirable name into the hat. All right, let's go to the phones. 800-636-1067. You can call us on the MGM National Harbor listener lines. Who's up? All right, let's go to Gus in Alexandria. Hey, Gus, what's up, buddy? You're on with the junkies. Hey, guys. Um, we should definitely go after Wagner today. I think uh, 
there's no excuse for Rivera not to before free agency starts, and definitely go for Winston. He's better than Garoppolo, better than Wentz. Not going to cost you anything in terms of trade compensation. Three years, $60 million for Winston. Here's the thing. If you go after Wagner, you know, he's going to have a bunch of suitors. You're going to have to overpay him. You're going to have to overpay him. But I'm I'm for him. He's about the same age as London Fletcher was, right? When London came here and had a nice little run. Right. You don't need him for five or seven years. No, 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 two three or four. Three, two or three. Yeah. I'm all in on Wagner, but you're going to have to overpay. Winston, do you have to overpay? Probably. I mean, be... Like you said, he's going to make twenty million. I mean, that's yeah. just the, that's the going rate for bridge like quarterbacks but if in you, the NFL. But if you get Winston and Wagner, and while I don't think anybody really thinks Winston truly is your long terms, you know, he's he's a yo yo. You never know what you're going to get with him. Then you use your first round pick on like a Chris Olave or, right. or a receiver like that. You could live with Jameis Winston and Taylor Heineke as his backup. You could, I mean, you could get you could live by for a couple of years and add a premier elite receiver, I and totally there are quite agree. a few of them. Well, I don't, I don't understand because Eric, if you if you don't want Deshaun Watson because of all of his baggage that he carries, then why then why would you sign Winston? I, I Winston's he has, had history, but not because like, he has he has baggage as well. He does, but not like not the just the I don't, sheer number, the sheer number. That's all. If it was one woman that accused him or two, but with the 22, it's just really hard to imagine how he's going to be able to extricate himself from that. Well, there's also a big difference between rape. massaging a girl's booty and rape. And, and rape. Yeah, I don't know the details of, of what um, Jameis did or didn't do. I don't remember anymore. I well, know he was accused of rape. And I then, understand. And then, uh, By one person. Well, that's pretty sad. <laughs> Understood. That's never happened with you. <laughs> I'm not saying he's a. I'm not saying he's a knight in shining I'm not armor. Giving, I'm not giving James Winston sixty million, three or sixty million. Well, no then, chance. Then you're Lance. probably not getting him. No chance, Lance. Yeah, I mean, then didn't Fitz just make about ten million a year? He made yeah. ten million. I can't yeah, see it jump to million. twenty million for Jameis. They're in the same ballpark. I, th- I think the market has has exploded for quarterbacks. Yeah, I just think that's what it is. Right, you can have him for sixty million. Then I'm not giving him sixty. Well, million. Maybe you get him for two years and thirty-eight, forty. I mean, it's Look, that's a price of doing business do, in the I NFL. I would do a two-year deal with Jameis. I would do yeah. a two-year deal with Maybe a two, but I'm drafting somebody. Oh, Sorry. And he's that, sitting behind Jameis. But not in the first James. round. If, if I sign Jameis or even Carson Wentz somehow I pull off or even Jimmy G, All right. I'm Ma- not wasting my first rounder then on a backup that I'm grooming. I'm drafting a premier. I'm making my offense better. I'm giving him more weapons. Uh, okay, so that's, that's fine, your question. But I'm, Okay, maybe you're getting Desmond Ritter, but I'm drafting somebody. Here, here's: Would you rather have Carson Wentz and or, or one of those guys, if one of those guys in that ilk, an elite receiver, or would you rather have Malik Willis and I don't know, I guess I don't know, and Trubisky or someone like that? Yeah, and then you have no, you still have just McLaurin, Cam Sims. Yeah, I can't Adam do. Humphrey. I can't do another. Why? Year you can of, still. You got other draft picks. You can still draft receivers, I know, but or you not, can sign them. They're not necessarily going to be. The kind of impact of one you'll get in the first round. It's oh, unlikely. Re- oh, receivers are legit this year. They got there's. It's very deep. You can get really good receivers in the second and third round. Right, but if you want to get the best, you want to get Jamar Chase. You well, want to get the best. I'm just not. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm just not Chase. giving. You want to get the best. I'm just not giving Jameis Winston sixty million dollars well, if that's what it costs. I'm not doing it. They, give it they two may years. not, but some team will. There is a team out there. That well, they're going to be a loser. Twenty million dollars. They're going to lose out on that. All right, let's go to Dave in College Park. Dave, what's up, buddy? You on with the junkies? What's up, fellas? Hey, hey. Dave. hey, I just believe that. Listen, you swung and you swung a miss at the big fish. Okay, now you're just left with a bunch of retreads from five and below. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> there's no reason to waste any money, like Bish said, on, on these bumps. Okay. You're not. You're not so going anywhere. So, which bum do you year. want you, then? Which bum do you want? I, I honestly believe, and I'm not a Taylor fan. Believe me, he is serviceable enough. You draft definitely. You try to swing in for the fences on a draft pick. Okay, number one. But you stock the pond. You know part of the reason why Russell went to Denver because that team has got a solid defense and they got a lot of young good receivers and running backs. He sees there's something there. There's nothing here, folks. If you guys were in another market, you would be laughing about. This team left and right. Nobody wants to come here, even if you overpay them. Mm. So that if you got Jimmy G turning you down, what does that say? So the fact that you think Bobby Wagner's coming in, he's going to Denver. He wanted out. He's mm. going to go there. 
you're, you're not getting these free agents for cheap. So you got to make them want to come here, stock the pond, draft well, go get Malik in the draft, Keith Tyler, or Taylor, I'm sorry, and he, and listen, I don't disagree that maybe uh, Carson Wentz would help. Jameis Winston is an okay quarterback, but don't waste the money on it when you can get a better player than that. What do you think the max ceiling is for him? You're going to get Jameis Winston when he was in Tampa when he was terrible. Okay, so you're not, you know, he is a little bit better than Taylor, but what's the point of wasting that money on that next year for this team? You tell me. Tell me a good reason why you want to waste $20 million on him. If you believe he improved upon his Tampa days by sitting behind Drew Brees. I don't agree with Dave often, but I agree with him here. Well, I think you also think that he can be, his ceiling is higher than Taylor's, and I like Taylor, but you've seen Jameis throw for 30-plus touchdowns and 5,000 yards. And this you past can't season... Really, it's hard for you to imagine a scenario where Taylor does that, right? And no. And this yeah, past season... I had, could see Jameis throwing for 25 interceptions. Maybe. Sure. But this past season, he only had three interceptions. Well, now he only played in seven games, but he had 14 touchdowns, three picks. He had Kamara, too. Just I mean, saying that if you believe... I'm not saying that it's accurate, but if you believe that Jameis is improved, he might be your solution. He, he improved just because he played decent in eight games. Whoa. And in the first game when Green Bay completely – didn't Green Bay just kind of fold in that first game? Yeah, they got blasted. I think, I think he threw five touchdowns like in the first game. 38 to three. And he had four against Washington. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, and he was getting grilled by the his I, coach. The idea is that he learned from Peyton. Did he learn from this quarterback Correct. guru? Well, That's well, the idea. I know, but I don't believe it. And Peyton's yeah. not here. So Listen, I don't – they're all the same to me at this point. I don't have an affinity for any of them. Wentz, Jimmy, and G, none of them get you excited. They're all the same. I think they're they should... second tier guys. I feel like there'll be more fireworks with Jameis. Like Trubisky is just going to be boring. Jameis will have some big he'll, games. That'll be, he'll be entertaining. Right. Now he'll go out and throw two or three picks he'll make in me too, and he'll make you want to pull your hair out. <laughs> he'll make me laugh. I almost think they should just draft a just draft a quarterback and just. Is there any reason? What are the? Well, there's a bunch of receivers in free agency, right? Can we get one of those? I mean, Allen sure. Robinson's available. Oh, yeah. Overpay. Of course. of course you can. What, Mike Williams, did they franchise Mike Williams, no, three he's, years, $60 million he just signed. with the Chargers. He did just yeah. sign. Yep. He's not available. Maybe that's Devontae the move. Devontae and Godwin franchised. Right. Maybe that's the move. Get the next best free agent, way overpay him, because that's the only way you get him, and then just draft one of these young kids and just roll the dice. By the way, I think that to say that Jameis Winston raped a woman or was accused of rape is maybe taking it a step too far. Is this the one where he's in a cab? He was in an Uber, and he allegedly groped the female. She kicked him out of the Uber. He got on another Uber. That's kind of like I, I don't want to diminish thing. it. I don't want to either, diminish but it. That's the same thing that Deshaun essentially. Yeah, he was groping her. You know, he obviously, he was hammered it's out of terrible. his mind and acted like an idiot. It's, it's a it's, sexual assault. I agree, but so De- Deshaun's got like twenty-two allegations like that. Hmm. All right, let's go to Greg. <clears throat> Greg, what's up? Greg, Greg, that's you, buddy. All right, can you figure? Can you talk? Hey, sorry about that, guys. Thank you for taking my call. Thank yeah. you so much for taking What's my call. Up? Um, just the everybody's been on point with their comments, like you guys have said, and the other callers. This is not a destination. If I were a top five quarterback in this league, I'm looking at everything. I'm not, I'm not only looking at the money. I'm looking at the last two or three years. We've arguably lost one of the top or the top left end, left 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 tackle in the league. We've had a hostile work environment. We had a problem with the logo. We had a problem with our rehabilitation department. And that's part of what we know. You have to look at the whole picture. We have to prove that we are a destination. You can't just say, oh, throw them the money. These guys are top in their, in the league. And when they come to a team, it's what? Plus five, plus six wins easy just because they're on the field. Uh, yeah, I mean, I agree. I mean, a lot of these players – are not going to want to come here. And I would be all in for Deshaun, even though he's got all the off-the-field stuff, but I would probably put money on Deshaun's already told commanders, I'm not going to waive the no trade for you. Oh, you think he's already let the, you? You feel I, he's I, already let them know that? Yeah, I think it's a possibility. Unless it's the Maybe. only option. Unless Carolina doesn't want him, which I doubt. Unless Philly doesn't want him, who knows about New York. I, I think he probably says, you know what, I'll go somewhere else. I feel like a guy like Deshaun can't be choosy, but I mean, everyone else turns us it down. It can't be real choosy. You're right. But if there's yeah. another situation, Carolina, closer to where he grew up, 
closer to where he play, played college ball, he might just say, I'm going to Carolina. All right, we'll come back, take more of your calls at 800-636-1067.